Now, this was a matchup you were looking forward yes. to. A this certain DJ Vu versus Bonus Jin. Now, I feel both of these guys are heavy hitters. They're both very aggressive in the way they play. So I, I feel that this match is just going to be like two titans just clashing. Now, Bonus Jin um, has actually done a really good job in London. It was his only, it yes. was his first and only tournament entry for the UK Championship. And because it was the final qualifier, if you didn't qualify in London, uh, that was it. You know, there's yeah. no future opportunities. Now, um, a lot of players, you would think that would be a bit too much pressure. But with Bonus Jin, he turned up and not only qualified, but he actually beat a fair amount of players who had already qualified to get his own spot, yeah, including actually, the Phantom. Yeah, it's actually quite amazing that he actually came to London tournament solely and actually done so well because a lot of players were feeling that that London tournament was going to be like the sharp pool. It was going to be impossible, near impossible to actually get out. No one could really call it. And it was impressive that that was his first try, and now he's here. Because he, he looked so comfortable as well. I mean, in London, where we saw the Phantom face off against Bonus Jin earlier in the tournament, I think it was the match to actually get into the top eight of that event. Uh, Phantom took it quite comfortably. I think the first game, I believe the first game went to Bonus Jin, and then like the next six rounds almost, just very Phantom looking really strong. Yeah. And that was it. But then they fought again in top eight. And at that point, Bonus Jin just like turned it up, you know, and he played better than we'd ever seen him play that day. And he really brought it. He brought it to everybody and well and truly earned his spot. Now today, the question is, is he going to bring it again? Or is DJ Vu, on the flip side, going to do even better? DJ Vu is definitely one of the most improved players that I've seen from a lifespan from Tekken 6 onwards. I've really seen him develop. And to actually now make it to this stage is, is great. DJ Vu, actually, one of our very first qualified players. This guy qualified all the way back in hype spotting yep, in Scotland. In his home la homeland, Scotland, yeah. He is from Scotland. He was going to be very happy with that one. Yes, The cool definitely. thing about hype spotting, actually, was uh, we saw Ireland, London, and Scotland all qualify. They were the three spots. Yeah, that was actually great, yeah. They went to Kane and Trench, The Truth, and DJ Vu. Now, you speaking of DJ Vu, Jack7. Jack really yeah. is his boy in this game. But he does play other characters. I believe in uh, Tekken Tag, he told me he played uh, Law and Law Paul. And Paul. Yeah, it, it's very interesting that ha how that he's actually made that switch because a lot of people actually say that Law in this game is very strong. But I guess it goes to what you're comfortable with. And I said this before that in Tekken 7, most of the characters are, are plausible. You can work with them, make them your own, put your own stamp on it and come out a winner. Now, with Jack7 in particular, this character has absolutely seen his fair share of success. Yes. Obviously, with a Saint putting in work around the world, winning uh, Evo and King of Vinefist with this very character. So it's a character that can definitely get the job done, but bonus gin. Yes. I, I know it's actually District G bonus gin, apparently. Ah, interesting. So one of the things I just noticed off the bat is bonus gin done Nina's up forward one. Now, that is going to be a huge factor in this match, as Jack has a lot of safe lows. And if you're able to punish them and crush them and get a full punish launch, it's incredible. I wonder how much we'll actually see it put to action. Now, Bonus Jin, he's got access to Rage. All he needs is one significant launcher. Speaking of which, might get it. That Good throw tech. Crucial throw, and another crucial throw tech. It doesn't duck the last hit for the duck that string. Oh, both players being very careful. DJ yes. Boo, all he needs is one more <laughs> touch, and the run in is going to do it. Just a run up jab. Interesting. I wonder what um, Bonus Jin actually pressed. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm not too sure, but either way, DJ Vu does very happily take that first round. Oh, Ooh. yes. Ooh. Unlucky on the combo drop there. Yeah, tried to go for a conversion of that. Doesn't quite get it, leaving a lot of damage on the table as well. And that was a big debug. Okay, Dr. Vu didn't really get a last time in four or anything. Again, Bonus Jin does actually uh, pop in there, but... Okay, nice jab interrupt. That's quite crucial. Ooh. And... In that situation, uh, you, you take any damage, right? Yeah. Take a jab when you can get it, take a single hit, because the second that guy gets rage and he starts going in, like, you take so much damage if you get tagged. Yeah, Nina is a character with a lot of pressure tools. Like, now that the crucial 1 plus 2 pro, um, DJ Wu really showing that he's up to scratch with his pro breaking. That's his pressure for days, yeah. but finally finding his opening to catch the jab and enforce those plus frames. I'll turn back now. It's very scary as well because um, Bonus Jin is actually using r forward one quite a bit, and he must know that those low are really going to crash. Doesn't low parry that kick, and this could potentially be it. Oh, not quite. Okay. Still alive. Oh, his launch. No, not quite. Okay. Still alive. Oh, uh, no, the was, rage drive. That was very smart. He actually stayed grounded. It looked like he didn't get the full damage of the rage drive. But it's going to benefit him absolutely yes. greatly. A fantastic decision at the end. Yeah. DJ Vu committing to it. Bear in mind, when you use a rage art or a rage drive, you lose rage for the remainder of yes. the, the, uh, the match, or the, the round, I should say. Yes, that was a great awareness from bonus, Jim. 
Okay, full wall combo, huge amount of damage. Toe kick to get up, but Jack back is against the wall, and this is where Jack does not want to be. He's a big body character, and it's hard for him to step up on the wall. And look at this relentless pressure. Oh, fights back, gets the tail spin. Nice amount of damage as well. You Damn. can see fighting back. The stomp to catch it, but just like that, crushing it as well. Yeah. Three rounds to one. Bonus Jin looking pretty much as strong as we expected him to yeah. look. He's using a lot of moves which actually go over Jack's lows, I've noticed. Now, we've seen actually uh, DJ Vu has, has sometimes changed character. Yeah. But I feel like normally when you see a character change, it's when something's super decisive. And I don't think that was one of those games. I think sticking with Jack, you can totally understand why he's done that. But yeah, he's played Jack throughout the tournament. I guess this is what he's most comfortable with. This but maybe even just be first game nerves here. I mean, we, we've said this time and time again, but it really is prominent. These guys, uh, as we go through this winner's bracket, these are their first matches. Yes. You know, this is where the rust applies. This is where the nerves play their biggest part for a lot of these players. But the question is, in this best of three setting, when you've only got two games to lose before you're sent to loser's bracket, it's you've got to get used to that very yes. quickly. Now, infinite is there. This is an infinite stage. No walls here. Jack's definitely not going to have as much damage on this stage. Oh. Okay, very interesting. Last. Oh, I was about to say, about even. A crucial break on the tombstone. Well, you almost feel like, to a degree, a uh, nice block in the mid, actually. Very crucial. Might still get it. Yes. Quite. Just go to the down back punch to keep it nice and simple. But I feel like this infinite stage has been actually quite useful for DJ Boo because we saw what happens when Jack gets his back to a wall against Nia. Yes, and definitely. this stage in particular, I mean, that can't happen. Yeah, it was definitely very hard for Jack to get out from that pressure, and that's a big launch. And it's going to be huge damage. He gets the full combo. Okay. I, I like how he doesn't end it because he wants yeah. to keep up close. Really smart decision. Yeah. As you say, there's no wall, so Okazemi, you need to kind of keep close to your opponent. More important than ever on these infinite stages, catches the big sweep. Not okay. a huge amount of damage. Taking get it, get it. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting get up and... Surprise yeah. attack right that there, surprised me Crazy. too. Here we go. Now, DJ Vu looking much better in this game. Yeah, definitely two rounds up. It probably shook, shook the rust off there. Yeah, we were just talking about how you shake yeah. rust off, right? He's doing just that. Nice duck, and that's a full punish. We're going to see big damage again. No doubt he's going to end it early, though, to keep that pressure again. Okay. Yeah, again. Okay. Goes for the big debug. Okay, down back one. He's found it there. Tries to whiff punish, doesn't quite get it. It's Hang gonna, on. Yeah, there's going to be a full combo. It's not going to be... Oh, drop the combo. Wow, it's by the grab as well. Yeah, and yeah Okazemi, in that kind of situation, it was kind of more or less a 50-50 on the go out there. Yeah, I think when, when you're so weak and you get knocked down at that range, it's yeah. kind of hard to really do much about what seems like guaranteed damage. Yeah. Here comes the tombstone in yeah. big damage. What's it, Okazemi? Hey, nice. Forward one catches her side on him. Deep buff. That was interesting. She was in the end. Oh, just... massive launch. DJ Boo's going to do huge damage here. Again, ending it early. Wants to stay up close. Only needs that one more hit. That just gets the shot. Seven golden letters. Perfect. DJ Boo answering back. I have no surprise at all that we've seen the stage select. Because I feel like that infinite stage, I mean, this, these two matches back to back is a complete shining example of why stages in Tekken are so important. Yeah. Now, Twilight Conflict, again, not only has this stage actually got walls, um, but two, two tiers. Right? Yes. You can get knocked downstairs, of which the stages, top and bottom, are actually different sizes. Yes. Now, in this match, I think Bonus Jin's going to be a little bit happier uh, with the Twilight Conflict yeah. stage because he, he can establish that pressure. It was such a huge variations to do two different matches from a wall stage and a waller stage. And we mentioned this before the actual tournament started, how um, important stages are in the game. And you saw it right there. There we go. Whoever wins this game is going to move on. Oh, big that's, crush right yeah, there. Yeah, that was a big crush up forward one. He's going to get the wall. Now, this wall, we might see a night and day difference. If Bonus Jin can keep here, you can see the defensive yes. options are so much more limited. The grab as well, looking to answer back with almost a perfect of his own. But now Nida's back against the wall, and this is where Jack actually signs when he has his opponent back to against the wall. And that was a lovely opponent. Um, really good patience. Yeah, patience Fantastic for Bonus Jin. patience. <laughs> just waiting for his magical moment, and then the get-up kick, just take that final bit of life. Oh, big oh. damage. That is guaranteed off the car hit forward two. And this is huge damage, it's going to definitely go to the wall. Yeah, you can see DJ Boo's going to be ending that string now because it causes a ton of knockback and on the wall stage, you will get that splat to big damage. Oh, and this could potentially be it. I reckon that's going to be around. He's going to go for the finish. Yes, definitely gets it there. So one round apiece. 
All tied up. Looking super close. Now, all DJ Vu definitely is what he's trying to do is he's trying to really avoid that situation. A big grab as well. And he's going to get good Oki on that too. Yeah, definitely, but runs into the guard kick and this is going to be a full combo. Probably going to get trouble to get the wall, but drops the combo. The problem is dropping a combo at that stage is that you're not only losing damage, but you're not getting that wall carry. Yeah. Doesn't matter too much though, he's still got him here. Yep. Gets the grab. Here we go. Okay, he sits up again, doesn't do anything there. Okay, Jack getting back to get the wall. DJ Vu really trying to be patient, but again with his back to the ball looking so helpless almost. Yeah, these Nina strings are just relentless, just relentless pressure. Oh no, oh, unfortunate lucky. combo drop. May have been an um, execution error, I think. Yeah, potentially could have been. Yeah. But either way, that's going to be match point for bonus Jin. You can see this, the stage change has been so beneficial for him. Yeah. Okay, um, interesting combo. Starts off with a counter hit launch. Okay, nice, quick punish. Four, Taking four, that one. guaranteed. Oh, just gets hit by that. That's going to do big damage. Yeah, that's going to go towards the wall. Gets the wall splat. Nice patience, doesn't do anything. But now Jack's back is against the wall. This is where DJ Boo has really been losing his game. That whiff was actually really unfortunate. But DJ Boo catches it. That might be it. That's going to be it. It is very unfortunate. You can see DJ Boo really tried to commit right at the end. And he went in for that run in. And unfortunately, um, because Bonus Jim was just so patient, he stayed on the ground. It completely missed. And yeah. as Bonus Jin stood up, DJ Boo's back is now to the wall. And that was all she wrote. He just needed that one situation to have your back to the wall my damage just became much higher my pressure options became a lot more dangerous and that was it and bear in mind you had rage too you know the second you've got rage that damage output adds up as well and all of that combined becomes a ton of damage especially for a character like nina as well yeah that was definitely really night and day to show how important stages are in this game when jack had his back against the wall it, it just looked like an uphill struggle absolutely absolutely so either way as close as it was DJ Vu does get knocked into the loser's bracket where, once again, he's still in the tournament. He's just not yes. in that comfort zone, comfort zone of the winner's definitely. bracket.